Good evening, everyone. Good evening, good evening. Thanks for joining me. Good evening. Thank you so much, EKGH, for your gifts. I really appreciate it big time. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Um, this evening, I would like to talk about the fire elements. The fire elements. That's what I want to be talking about this evening. The fire elements. All right. While doing that, I would like us to light our candle as the light illuminates us and teaches us more. We'll be working on the fire elements. Thank you, Ono Gloria. We'll be talking about the fire element. There is a lot to learn from fire as an element. Yesterday, I was able to touch a few ways that you have your body heat. You have all things to give to fire elements. That you have your sight. You have all things to give to the fire elements. Because it is the fire element that warms our body, regulates our body temperature, and um, also our sight that you see, your eye, eye. Now, what's the natural body you use when you want to talk about the fire element? You have two natural body when you want to talk about the fire element. We are looking at the sun. We are looking at the sun and we are looking at this fire, ignition, oxygen and hydrogen, you know, that makes fire. The fire elements. That's what I want us to talk about. Fire elements. Now, we need to talk about the sun. But before I proceed, I would like to reintroduce myself, even though you already know. I'm Ezenwai Miriocha, also known as Omwai Amechio Konano. And I have only one phone number, which is 070-305-70506. If you're going for consultation and you're chatting a, diff a number different from what I called now, then you're definitely not dealing with me. You're dealing with someone else, not me. Okay? But once you're chatting this number, be rest assured that you're with me. Okay? So let's talk about the fire elements. Let's talk about the fire elements. Sun. Ayawo. Now you talk about owl. The light never dies. There's this song I, I, I love so much, even though I'm not a good singer. You know, this song. I me goes your way, no one. I me goes your way, no one. I me goes your way, no one. Yabo ahamo Oku nerere Oku nerere Yabo ahamo Even those that go to church in your Bible, your Bible tells you that you are the light of the world. You are the salt of the world. You know, salt, salt belongs to two places. That is earth and water. Light belongs to, to fire belongs to two places. That is fire and air because there is no smoke without fire all right there is no smoke without fire so now aya in Igbo, aya is i awo is like awawo i'm good now i'm good the only thing I have, if you notice, this is also an effect of the light. There is a shift in energy. There is a great shift. I, I didn't even know I'll be doing this video this night because 
this evening when I got up from my rest, I was feeling so heavy, like tipper jam me, but some few minutes I got myself. You might also notice it because there is a shift going on in the spirits. Something is happening. There is a shift going on, a serious shift, a major shift going on. New knowledge is going to be released. New knowledge, new consciousness is going to be out there. So expect more knowledge from the source. Expect more knowledge from your source. All right? So what, what, what does fire as an element? I, I don't even know where to start. I don't, know, I don't know where to start. I don't know if I'm going to do justice to it, but I'll go ahead. So even as I showed you stones yesterday, there are stones that is more of fire elements, has more of fire elements in them. There are stones like that because everything is interconnected. When I was talking yesterday about the earth, and I talked about earthquake, um, do you, have you seen a volcanic eruption? When it is happening, you see the, 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 mount, the, the mountain magma is like a lake of fire. So you still have fire above you and you have fire beneath you. It's like a lake of fire. Now let's talk about the sun. You know, the sun is more of a, the sun is more of a male energy, a masculine energy. The sun is more of a masculine energy. Then the female version is the moon. I've explained in one of my videos before. Now, why is the sun a masculine energy? You see that the sun rises every morning. The sun rises every morning. And as a man, you're, you're watching this video. Good evening, Mary Cynthia. You're watching this video as a man. And you know that your, your penis stands, rises every morning as you wake up. If you're a man and it doesn't rise every morning, you will know that there is something unhealthy. There is a problem. You are having a health issue. Now, stress, there are, there are factors that might make it not to rise, which I'm not here to talk about. But the normal thing, the good thing when you're still healthy as a boy growing up is that it rises every morning. Another thing you should also notice, now I'm talking about the other side of fire, because the sun rules the day and the moon rules the night. They do not fight. The sun does not try to lord over the moon. Neither does the moon try to lord over the sun. And these are these are husband and wife. Okay, now we here. As a man, you're struggling. I'm a man, I'm a man. And then, man, you don't do I'm a man with your mouth. You don't do that. Play your role unless the other gender play her role. You don't need to keep screaming it. You need to mind your own role. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. Now... The moon being a woman, the moon comes out every 28 days. It goes and comes out again. The moon has a 28-day cycle, 29 days or 30 days cycle. That is the way the moon goes. That is why a woman cycles every 28 days. A woman sees her period. Because a woman is related to the moon. Oh, why, but why? The moon is a woman and the sun is mostly a man. A, dom a domineering masculine energy. This is natural. This is not something you argue. This is not something you try to, okay, be logical. But no matter how logical you become, you find out it is the same. You end up, you want to see your period. It's monthly, you count it. What is monthly? Month is about the moon. We, we count our months using the moon. We count our days. You're welcome, you're welcome, Justin. We count our days using the sun and we count months using the moon. The Igbos use the sun, not just the Igbos. Everybody, I think all cultures uses the sun to check a new day, to usher in a new day, once the sun rises. And almost everybody uses the lunar calendar. The lunar calendar, that is why you call it moons. It's actually moons, one O is removed. Moon starts with a new moon. That is the right thing, even though some of these calendars are not correct. That is why you see first of the moons, there is no new moon. 
because it's not really new months. That is why if someone just tell me something when I still have strength, tell me happy new months, I'll tell you it's not new months yet. Because the new moon is not out. But recently, this year calendar is just going by two days. Sometimes it is right on track. That is why sometimes you see me post happy new moons because it's really new moon. Now, let's talk about the fire energy. The fire energy is intense. It is passionate. It is filled with passion. People of the fire elements, people of the fire elements, they can be harsh, very harsh. You know, fire is a very good servant, but a very bad master. They will serve you well. But when they are angry, something must give. When they are hot, something must give. Their anger can be very, very destructive. They are quite hot tempered. They are very hot tempered. Just like water people, very emotional. They move a lot with passion. They hardly speak when they are angry. But when they open their mouth to speak, it is thunderous. You will feel the heat on your skin. You will feel the heat in your soul. You will feel the heat in your body. Because a whole lot of fire, that energy is going off. And they are putting it on you. Good evening, Sharon. You need to watch the nature, the, the nature around you. The fire elements. What does the fire element do? The fire element heals. In case you find yourself in a place where you have an injury and there's no antibiotic and you think you already have an infection, you can use the fire element to stop the infection just by putting a metal over fire to sterilize it. To sterilize it. Once it's hot, you place it over the wound. It kills every infection there. The fire element heals. There are sicknesses that you need to go stay near fire, cover yourself with a cloth and absorb the heat so that the heat once your body heat comes up and you start sweating, this sickness goes out of your body. There are sicknesses like that. Something like jaundice, you need the fire elements to heal it. That is why you have children that have jaundice, you put them under the morning sun. The fire element helps our skin. You see, see the way my dada is pretending to relax. When I wake up in the morning, you know the way I try to push it down so at least I can be um, presentable in my videos. It's pointing up. Always pointing up. Now, this is like an antenna you use to tap into the universe. Your hair. The black man's hair. The black woman's hair. This is your antenna. You see what antenna it is to a TV. You know, you get your DSTV, you get your GoTV, and you have antenna that used to receive signals from their database or from their network and all those things. Your hair is like an antenna used to connect to the signals, the universal signals. Also from the sun. Because most of the times our hair is pointing, the hair of a black man is pointing towards the sun. And that is where your energy comes from. Just same way electricity comes from water, electricity also comes from the sun's energy. Now you talk about the solar inverter, all the solar energy that we use now that is coming up. Renewable energy. Now this is this is nature. These are the things, these are benefits. The fire energy also preserves, not just heal, it preserves. It preserves. You, you see yourself, you have beats, and there's no light. How did our ancestors, how did they, how, how were they able to preserve their meat? They put it inside something like a, a, a small case, we call it a, a wire they used to connect different things. Fem rich, sometimes the zodiac sign is not entirely correct about your elements. 
only you or someone who is able to read your energy can actually bring it out. Now, the fire energy preserves. You see them keeping the meat over fire so that the fire can dry out the, 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 the water in it and make it stay longer. You have your soup. You wake up in the morning, you warm your soup over the fire. If you don't warm it, it gets spoiled. Such is the power of the fire energy. Preservation. Like I said, fire is a very, very good servant, but a bad master. Like I said, good and evil resides. in. There's always a negative and positive side. But we just choose to be good. When there's an inferno, you, sh you shout, oh, oh, after shouting. You still, it does not stop you from lighting fire in your house to warm your food, to cook your food. Sometimes when you need to take care of the, your, the dirty things around you, it is fire you use. Fire cleanses. Fire purges. Fire purifies. Use it to burn the things you know that no longer serves you. Things that you do not need, you burn them in fire. You burn them using fire. You destroy them with fire. So you see, destructive energy can also be good. When you want to purify your gold, to get your gold or your or gold in its purest form, you use fire. Your metals, you use fire. Because fire purifies, brings out the best in you, removes the chaff and makes you stand out. <laughs> he said, do I have a school? I don't have a school. This is the school I have. Here I'm teaching you right now. This is the school I have. Oh, 1.3K likes and 13 viewers. That is a message at 2202. Six six. Sorry, you might not understand the number coordinates I'm using. I just take note of these things. This is the school that I have. I don't have a physical school where you can come, even though I started one at home that you can come to on Saturdays. So, such is the power of the fire energy. Your gold passes through fire to come out shiny, to come out beautiful. Look, I'm teaching. You're asking me what, what I can do to attract people and money. I do not know. I'm not going to say I'm not sure what to do to attract money and favor. I'm telling you what to do to get in touch with yourself. If you are not in touch with yourself, how can you attract money and favor? When you are in darkness and you don't even know the use of the darkness you are in. Why is it that we don't, we don't like knowledge? You're only interested in this paper that is controlling us. I love money. But there are times you put money aside, you learn something else. What you will do to attract money, just jump on the video. You will, you will stay there, you will tire. Good evening, Olivia. I'm talking about fire as an element. That's what I'm talking about. Um, Femi Rich. I'm talking about fire as an element, the fire element and its effect on us. How it makes us feel, how it makes us behave, how it makes us react. Because it's all, we are all also part of the fire element. It's all in us. Each and every one of us is an embodiment of all the elements. We all have it in us. All the iron Janime, it's in us. It's in us. Most people with fire elements, you always have your palms burning most of the time. Most healers, you have your palms burning from the energy. As a fire element, there are times your, your hands, you don't know, but your, your palms are burning. Seriously burning. Why is he burning? Because there are people somewhere that are sick, that what they need, what they need is for you to release that healing that was sent down to you for them. All you need is to release it to them so your hands can be free. But you do not know the power in your hands. 
there are people you 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 start feeling this burning sensation in your palms it's so intense days you're complaining the only healing the only thing that will heal it is for you to raise your hands and speak into the universe and connect to everybody I'm connected to, to every soul I'm supposed to heal, I'm sending out this energy because we are energies. Forget about our body. We are energies. We are spirits having a human experience. I connect to you. I send out this healing energy to locate everyone it is meant for because there is someone it is meant for. There might be a sick person close to you, but the healing in your hands is not meant for this person. That gifts in your hands was not meant for this person. There is a sick person I cannot be able to heal because that person is not meant for me to heal. There is someone else. When you're, when you're born, certain people are tied to you. Certain people are tied to your destinies. That when you do not succeed, they will never succeed because they are reliant on you to succeed before they can be able to succeed. There are people, thank you so much for sharing, Nezego and Kali. Thank you so much. There are people that if you don't speak healing into their life, they will never get their healing. Because from its predestination, from all sets, this person's healing is tied to you. There are people you are tied to in the spirit. And when you miss them, if you're just talking to them, if you're just talking to them, you feel like you've known them for ages. When you finally meet your spiritual tribe, when you meet your spiritual tribe, you will know. Because talking to them, thank you for sharing, man, as you've been that. When you finally meet them, you will know. Because everything clicks. When they are speaking, you will say, yes, I know what this person is talking about. Where have you been all my life? Why? Because they are your tribe. You understand what they are doing. 205, thank you for sharing. They understand what you're saying. They understand what you're doing. Because you speak the language of their soul. Close that door, because that's what I have to stop. Mirena, why is disturbing my video? So you went outside like to, to seduce our compound people. It's what I talk about, so these water elements. They like to go around naked. Seducing innocent people, that's by the way. Now, this is the fire. I love you, I love you. Do you know the element behind your love? It is fire, the emotion. Fire and water. These are two very emotional elements. Fire and water. You see ex people, that one, that one. That is where I get my apple from. The eggs are all rigid, strong. See fire people, their emotions. Fire people, ah, once they are, just pour kerosene, boom, pour fuel, boom. They just go, boom, kaboom. As a man, as a woman, as a man, you're marrying a fire person and she gets angry, it's very destructive. Fire elements hardly survive with fire elements. They can both destroy each other. Except they have order, they have discipline. Sharon, stay one place. Stay one place. Stay on Facebook or you stay on TikTok. <laughs> you greet me on Facebook, you also greet me on TikTok. The fire elements purifies our soul, purges our soul, makes us glitter, brings out the best in us. That is such is fire elements. Is it the healing? Is it the love? Is it the passion? When doing a love ritual, fire element is very important. Healing ritual, fire element is very important. Preservation ritual, Fire element is very important. In fact, it is important in every aspect of our lives. Do you know what your skin produces? The melanin in your skin, do you know what it does? 
when it comes in contact with the fire elements, being the sun. The sun is the source. Now, some Christians do not know that Jesus is, Jesus is a sun god they presented to you. They call him the son of God. Now, in this fire element, I'm going to be revealing a whole lot. The Christendom is hiding for you. Jesus is a, 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 a plagiarism of the sun. That is why you go to church to worship him on Sundays. Because he's the sun god. That is why you worship on Sundays. Now, I'll give you instances that, that, that you, you used to know why I said Jesus is the sun god. As I'm speaking, this candle, the fire is just climbing. I'm doing the right thing. Oi, I'm doing well. Thank you for sharing, Sharon. This is the sun god. Now, if, you, if you've been around a large water body, early in the morning or in the evening, you will see the sun walking on water. You will see it rising from the womb. From the womb of Oshimiri. You see the sun rising from there. You see, you see the sun. Virgin, Virgin Mary. Sorry. Virgin Mary is a depiction of a, a, a plagiarism of the water goddess. That is why Virgin Mary is the mother of Jesus. Water is a virgin. Virgin Mary is always clad in blue and white. Virgin Mary is always clad in blue and white. That is the color of the water. That is the color of the deep blue sea. She's always clad in, then she has a son. She has a son that when he was born, the star from the east. Do you know what the star from the east is? The star from the east is the sun, the rising sun. It rises from the east. That is why when Jesus was born, the star from the east. So when you actually read your Bible, you find out that this is, this is about nature. These are allegories. These are stories being told to depict different things but for you to get these mysteries you have to read with your third eye you have to read with your mind eye you have to read with your akon uche you have to use your oboro to decode the message to be able to know what is being talked about thank you for sharing jerindo Royal Treasure Boji, you're welcome. So when, when you look at the whole situation, the, 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 the virgin being water does not need a man to get it pregnant. They said it's the spirit of God. And Gabriel came to fuck Joseph's wife and pin the pregnancy on him and threatened him not to talk in his sleep. In his dream, you must accept this baby. You must pose as the father. You must accept that you are the father. Imagine getting a, a man's wife pregnant and you're threatening him at the same time to accept the pregnancy. Wow. How many of you will even agree to it? Or you agree to that bullshit? So now you see that Jesus, Jesus is the Son, the Son God. That is why in your church, the Blessed Sacrament, look at it, the body of Christ is a depiction of the Son. The image of the Blessed Sacrament is the Son, because what they are trying to present to you is an image of the Son. The Blessed Sacrament, the symbol is the Son. Your Reverend Father's clothes, everything that represents their clothes, you see the sun sign. You see Jesus' picture, you see the sun radiating on his head. 
You see the sun shining from all corners of his head. My name is Yoku, that is the truth. But because we've stopped using our number six, we've stopped reasoning. You know, the Bible does not allow you to reason. That is why the Bible tells you that anybody, the Bible continues lying. Even the Bible will still tell you that this book is a two-edged sword. In Igbo, when you say something is two-edged, that means this person has double standards. This person is not telling you the entire truth. They are lying. Sometimes they lie. Sometimes they tell you the truth. In my place, when you say someone is double-edged, a double-edged, you are actually saying that this person is not an honest person. The Bible is not entirely honest with us. This is a book written by a man like you and I. These are stories written to con and to throw you, to control, to con you and to throw you. That is why the story is, the, the story was never written for you to gather knowledge. Accept your mind is enlightened. That is when you are able to evolve beyond the story and look beyond what is being said. Because even in there, you have not I've not disposed my Bible. Why? Because there are still some truth in. Because when I read it, I do not read, I do not see the stories you are reading. I see something else. I, I've read the Bible cover to cover. I might not be able to quote chapter. I go to John chapter 3, verse 16, and I read this. I might not be able to I will tell you the story in details. Because when I read it, I read it like a novel as a child. I read the Bible cover to cover. You see me, I'll carry Bible, I read dictionary. And I will tell you that the Bible is the word of God. You need, you need, you need the spirit of God. You are, you are a God. The Bible tells you that eh, when you try to explain this thing, eh, your sufferings will be added. That is not true. That is what your colonial masters used to control you so that you don't reason. You will go to hellfire. There is no hellfire waiting for you anywhere. If there is a hellfire, why are you reincarnating? Why are you coming back? Even in your Bible, there is reincarnation. In your Bible, there's reincarnation in your Bible. Should I start? Joshua, a reincarnation of Moses. He continued. After Joshua, who is the next savior? After Joshua, you have Jeremiah. You have John the Baptist. <laughs> A reincarnation of John the Baptist. Jeremiah is a re reincarnation of um, John the Baptist. Is a reincarnation of Jeremiah. They are both the weeping prophets in the wilderness, shouting, "Prepare the way of the Lord and make His threat. He's the same person. But you're not ready for this conversation. In your Bible, your Bible tells you that Lucifer is the bright and morning star, talking about the fire energy. And the same Bible tells you that Jesus is the bright and morning star. Can you not see that Jesus and Lucifer are one and the same? They are both light bearers. They are two sides of the same coin. But you are not ready. You are not ready for this conversation. Do you want me to go, go to um, Revelation? I, I don't know. Like I told you, I read the Bible cover to cover, but I cannot tell you the chapter and the verse. But I believe... Things have been made easier for us. Go to Google, type the, the portion of the Bible that tells you that Lucifer is the bright and morning star. Also, says the portion of the Bible that tells you that Jesus is the bright and morning star. So, how can Jesus and Lucifer be the same thing? Everything the Bible keeps talking about Lucifer being the devil, being evil in the Bible. But throughout the Bible, I did not see Lucifer do one evil, he's always God doing the evil, he's always God telling people to go and kill. It's always God telling people, it's always God grabbing people's land. How can you tell a nation? How can God, your God, tell a nation, tell Israel to go to Canaan, another man's land? I will give you this land flowing with milk and honey. It is not your land. And you go to another man's land and you go there to kill them just to take over their land. And you tell me I should work with this kind of God. <laughs> this kind of God that takes people's land at will. Send people to massacre a whole village. Kill all the children. 
Kill all the children. Kill all the animals. Kill everything and take the land. It's only thieves. How do you feel that the Fulanese are invading your lands? How do you feel? Your complaining is started in the Bible when you are proved that your God is sending Israelites to different people's lands to acquire their land. You were approving. But today you don't want other people to acquire your own land. But it's all right to do it in your Bible. Are you not a hypocrite? You're a hypocrite. You are a hypocrite. That is why you support certain things in your Bible, but in reality you will not support it. The evil becomes good to you because it was done. Can't you see you are brainwashed? You are not allowed to reason. How can you acquire knowledge without wisdom? Well, it's very possible. It's very possible for someone to have knowledge without wisdom, even though knowledge is power. But what, what you do with the knowledge, that is wisdom. So some people have knowledge, but they don't know what to do with the knowledge or how to apply the knowledge. So wisdom comes in in the application of the knowledge that you have. And wisdom is another form of knowledge. I hope God sends me to acquire your land. God is the owner of the land. <laughs> you see how people can be hypocritical, indifferent. Once it's about the Bible, they become, hypo they become hypocrites. They support these things because the Bible is backing it up. The Bible is backing up evil. And God, in Job chapter 1, verse 1, and God called a meeting for the sons of God. A meeting for the sons of God. And Satan attended. Can't you see that Satan is a son of God? Otherwise, what, what, is, what, is, what is Satan doing at the meeting? What is Satan doing there? He even came. Ah, Lucifer, how far now? Nah? I'm not attacking Christians. I'm not. Have I said anything that is not in the Bible? No. Everything I'm saying is from the Bible. I've not said anything that is you know you you are feeling attacked. I've not said anything that is not from the Bible. I've not said anything that is not written in the Bible. We are having a conversation. I've not said anything that is not there. Go and verify. Where have you been? That means they are friends. For you to be asking somebody, where have you been? You don't tell a long time. He said, I've been around, moving to and fro in the world. And he asked, have you seen my son, Job? He said, ah, forget that one. Because I give her money, get plenty money. That's why he's lawyer. That one is not lawyer. Let's try. Let's come out all those things and see if he's lawyer. That is God and Satan playing Naira Bet with somebody's life. Femi Rich, you are digressing from the topic. That is not my topic. That is not my topic. <laughs> this aspect, did the Bible say that he was there to steal? Hey. All right, sorry for digressing. Sorry by sorry for digressing. So the lights as elements illuminates our being just like I'm doing, throwing more light on things that ordinarily you will not be able, you cannot be able to fathom or think. The light causes you to reason. What is the what is the motive behind what you're doing? Someone tells you something and you're trying to find out what is the motive. That is light energy at work. That is the fire energy at it searches the truth. It brings out the truth. Illumination is about light. That is where Illuminati people got their, their, their name from, the name of their meeting from, Illuminati. Talking about illumination. That is the light. Illumination. Ife. When you don't understand something, you, you, you ask the person talking about is throw more lights. Because you know when they throw more, li more lights, you're going to understand it. 
throw more light, a way that you understand, in a way that illuminates your soul, in a way that you get the whole message, the whole point of the discussion. You know, when you come on my life, you tell me someone told you, or this someone told you, that someone told you. What have you told yourself? I would likely not want to answer you. What have you told yourself? If this person told you, have you gone ahead to find out on your own if truly you are? Have you gone ahead to make a research on your own? Find out. Ask questions. Ask your spirit questions. Look at your characteristics, your traits, and find out the elements you're behaving like. Find out the elements you're more like. That is how you know your elements. Find out your traits. How would I react to this? How would I react to that? Because different things have a way of reacting. When water is angry, it comes with flood. When the fire is angry, it goes with all those fire accidents, inferno. When the earth is angry, you see things like landslide, earthquake. When the air is angry, it expresses itself, hurricane. Find out what you behave like, what you do. How do you react to situations around you? How does it make you feel? How does your spirit feel around these things? Do you give more healing to others? Or you just destroy them? Your energy, you, you, you of the fire element, do you use your energy to heal or to destroy? Because you have the power to heal and you also have the power to destroy. It's fire people that heal you by laying hands on you. Fire and earth people by laying hands on you. Because they have energy flowing through them. Not as if other elements do not, but I'm talking about the intensity of the energy you get from the fire elements. It's more concentrated in them. So how do you know your elements? You that is asking me, find out your behavioral pattern and find the elements that behaves like you. Because all these elements are alive. They are all alive. Fanta de Chando. They are alive. But we are not ready to illuminate our soul. We prefer the limi limited knowledge that we have. Limited knowledge. We prefer the limited knowledge that we have. I've given you an insight on how to know where you belong. Next, I'll be talking on air elements. Air elements. But know you today that Jesus is a plagiarism of the sun. Jesus is a sun god. Check all his behavioral pattern. Three days, resurrecting in three days, 40 days this. Check what the sun does every 40 days. Check what the sun does in three days. Check how the sun walks on water. Then we can have this conversation again. Family Rich, um, I have no business with your pastors. 
and your pastor must not be a fire element. People are gifted differently from different elements. People are gifted differently from, it, from different elements. And we are all embodiments of all the elements, just that we have the domineering ones. We have the domineering ones. When your mother has disowned you, I'm not talking about Mother Earth, I talked about Mother Earth the other day. Why, why, why does the Earth disown you? Why? What did you do? Have you killed somebody? Mother Earth can only disown someone who, who is soiling their hands with blood, human blood. Mother Earth will disown you. So otherwise, I don't see any other reason why Earth will disown you. If not, maybe that you're a bad person, that you are evil. All right, so if you have any question based on fire elements, let me know. Everybody is not about fire elements. Every living spirit, we are all spirits having a human experience. Every spirit has authority in their tongue. Words are seeds. So both fire, water, air, but then it is different authorities, different kind of authorities. Different kinds of authorities. But everybody has authority in their tongue, depending on where you come from. Everybody have different authorities in their tongues, depending on where you came from. All right, in the absence of... Um, Questions, I'll be ending the video. I'll be ending the video. Now, dear Zemwa, you need to cleanse your energy field. You need to cleanse your energy field. It's a kind of corrupted. That's the message I'm getting. More like a saucho, morabo. You need to cleanse your energy field. Is a kind of corrupted. It's corrupted. You need to clean it up. Clean your aura. All right? Try and do that. Your energy field is corrupted. That's how we go to YouTube and watch my video. I, I talked on Mother Earth yesterday. Go to youtube and check you want to be able to see open your eyes to the lights go to youtube and check go to youtube and check i thought on it yesterday go there and check watch the ed video and learn all you have to learn there Inugo. all right i'll be ending this video